Brethren, this is a touching moment for us. This brutality of man of God, Pastor Destiny, was not right. This pastor has been belittled many times. It seemed to us that everyone who disagrees with his God's giving mantle yearns to beat him up. What problem has this got to solve for you? Pastor Destiny got beat all the time. It doesn't end at beating him. The annoying side is what his beaters complain afterwards. When he refuses to forgive, he is called wicked. He is called a fake man of God who could not forgive. Some people who barely read the Bible shall tell you that God does not curse people. Their phenomenon is untrue. Because the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 3, 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 6, that God is two-sided. He blesses and he curses. That is to say that God blesses any man or woman that blesses you and he curses any man or woman that curses you. Let us remember that he is a God of vengeance. Vengeance is biblical. It is scriptural. And the Bible says... In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 13, verse 11, and the Second Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 6, Now the hand of the Lord is against you. You are going to be blind, and for a time you will be unable to see the light of the sun. Immediately mist and the darkness came over him, and he groped about, seeking someone to lead him by the hand. This happened to Saul, the letter called Apostle Paul we know today. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6 says, God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you. Says in verse 7, And they give relief to you who are troubled, and to us as well. Many of the people want to understand why Pastor Destiny got beat by Nigerian soldiers. The plebeian friends engender this. They accomplished this. The accusation isn't questionable. They made it clear that Pastor Destiny, whether or not he likes it, lead or not lead by the Holy Spirit, must go and they pray for Blame it to be himself again. They accused Pastor Destiny, used plebeian for ritual. The last time Pastor Destiny visited E. Plebeian, we saw how. They were commanding the pastor by the immediate effect word, even almost fought him. Let us remind you that Pastor Destiny is still a young boy. He is still growing and of course, being a human being like us, has his own fears. The last time he visited Plymouth, where he was lying ill on the floor, he said that day, he is going to pray to God to heal Plymouth. But not when the young boy in red polo or t-shirt is around. Our question is, how many men of God in Nigeria have been tortured the way they are torturing this just child of God? Are there specific people who must be called men of God? Are the people beating up Pastor Destiny sending a message across to us that Pastor Destiny shouldn't work for God or what? To be honest, we want to understand this. The Nigerian soldiers shouldn't involve themselves in civilians' conflict. An army or a soldier place is in the war front. The police force can be used to make peace and settle disputes among civilians. Accusing Pastor Destiny are stealing from people online what he never did is unfair after beating him up what energy is left in him to stand on his feet to go and they pray for playmate your friend or your brother as you claimed we said every time you cannot settle a dispute or misunderstanding by fighting a very organized dialogue or diplomacy solves this problem we don't know Pastor Destiny's whereabouts at the time we made this video. What a word. Watch.
From all the glasses first. You really want to drink this guy said. Forty-eight hours now. You will really, okay? They look what they what they are thinking. One more time. One more time. One more time. Forty-eight hours now. You will really want to drink this guy said. Forty-eight hours now. You will really want to drink this guy said. Forty-eight hours now. You will really want to drink this guy said. Forty-eight hours now. You will really want to drink this guy said.